Hope you enjoyed that little bit of B-roll. Uh, so today's Wednesday, and um, if you haven't seen my last couple of videos, we're doing a new YouTube release schedule. So Mondays are gonna be writing suggestion, writing tip videos, writing advice. Wednesdays are gonna be vlog style, following along with what I'm doing with my current projects and the, the different plates that I'm juggling. And then Fridays are going to be quick, 10, eight minute videos, um, just talking about what I'm feeling, what's going on in our in our writing industry, successes, failures, all that good stuff, and um, I think it'll be really good. Monday there was no video, Memorial Day. Hopefully you had a great day, and uh, you found some time to celebrate and be with family, be with friends, get some sun if you can't tell. Um, I am normally very white, but uh, I have a little bit of color on me this morning due to the time that I spent outside playing bocce ball and cornhole and what else we play? Can Jam, which is an awesome game. If you haven't heard of Can Jam, look it up. <laughs> it's awesome. So today we are working on the Casey Norris book three. Casey Norris book two, All in the Family, came out last week. If you haven't had a chance to pick that up, uh, it's still at the, the launch price of $3.99 for the ebook. Uh, that'll be going up at some point, but for now it's good there. So if you want to pick that up, I would be honored if you'd check that out. It is the second book in the Casey Norris series. Book one was Eyes Never Lie, and um, I've written them specifically so you don't have to read them in order. You can read whatever book you'd like. If you pick up book two or book three or seven, the, you don't have to have read it from book one on. But I think they're all great, so I think you should you should read them all. Book one obviously kind of introduces the characters and gets you an idea of what the series is going to be about. So I always recommend you start at the beginning. But if you just want to jump into book two, feel free. Now, since then, I've written another book, which is the first in a separate series that I'm not going to divulge too much information quite yet. But it is in the production stage. It's being edited as we speak. Cover is being designed. And I hope to have that out the first or second week of June. So we are now working on completing the manuscript for book three in the Casey Norris series, which I hope to have out the first or second week in July. So I've been on a pretty good schedule putting out like a book a month, and I'm going to continue to try to do that this year as best I can. And uh, yeah, so that's what we're working on today. I also have to approve some more audio for uh, All in the Family book two the audio files are complete, so I have to go through the rest of those and approve them so that I can get that in, in, into production so that the audio book can be offered. So I've gotta also take a peek at that. Also running some advertisements, so I've gotta keep an eye on that. So lots and lots of things going on, lots of balls in the air, and, um, but you know what? I enjoy that, I enjoy being busy. Uh, if, you know, if you know me personally, if you've been watching for, for a little bit, then uh, you'll know that I am, I am not a full-time writer. I do have a, a nine to five, so that, and I'm working from home. So um, this is all done in my free time, not of course during, uh, during work hours or anything like that. So it's, uh, it's definitely time management is critical. But, uh, but yeah, for right now, this morning, I uh, have a little bit of time. I'm gonna get some, some words down. My word count goal right now is about 5,000 words a day. I'm gonna try and bust through this manuscript in about 10 to 12 days. Uh, I kind of got myself behind with some different things that were going on with the COVID situation and, and all kinds of different things. So kind of got myself behind. So usually my word count goal is between two and 3,000 words. I'm going to jump to, I'm going to try to get like 5,000 words, five, 6,000 words a day, which um, is not, not too terrible for me. I'm a relatively quick writer. Um, so should be fun, should be exciting. So far, I'm really digging the story and I'm excited to, to bring you along and kind of give you a little sneak peek. So let's get to work.
All right, so did some more work on that chapter. Um, actually did a little bit of work this morning that I that I did not get on camera. So we've done quite a bit. Uh, so far we are at roughly almost 3,000 words for the day. So I'm gonna bust out another two or three before the end of the day and I'll likely check in with you then. Uh, but for now, I am going to um, tend to some other things. So uh, I will check back in with you very soon. Right, so it's a little bit later in the afternoon now and uh, just been doing some work for my nine to five and um, all that good stuff. Uh, around all that, I've, I've done a little bit more writing. I've done some audio uh, and I, I apologize that I didn't, that didn't kind of show that part of it, but I've done some audio proofing and all that good stuff. Also, I thought I might explain why I'm in a red tank top and red shorts, red on red, and um, they don't match. Reason for that is um, that the gyms are now open again, and I am very, very excited. Today's the first day that I actually get to get back to it, and it's been two long months of wanting to go back, and I finally can. So I have been in my gym clothes all day, ready to roll. Red on red's usually not my thing, but it was the only red, it was the only tank top that I had that was clean. So I'm also doing laundry today, <laughs> but. Um, really excited to get back to the gym and uh, I don't know if you're a gym goer or not but um, I tell you you it's one of those things you get a little bit complacent with when you have it available to you all the time and then all of a sudden you're not able to go for two months and it really uh, it really kind of messes with you so I'm really excited to get uh, get going to that I'm gonna head off to uh, head off to the gym here soon and get a great workout in and then come back and probably do some more work tonight. So hopefully you're having a good day. Hopefully uh, this stuff is seeming somewhat interesting to you and I hope to bring you a little bit more before the video is done. So we'll see ya. All right, so fun stuff. Uh, the plan was to go to the gym after finishing a long day at work. Um, got a lot done today, it was a productive day. However, my car is currently in the shop for a taillight issue and an oil change which I thought was gonna be a quick fix, but it turned out they're gonna need it for um, the evening and into tomorrow morning, which means what I have is a bicycle, <laughs> which um, I could ride to the gym. It's, it's definitely within riding distance. The issue is it is now thunderstorming. It's been beautiful all day, not a cloud in the sky, and now it is thunderstorming. So that has now become not an option. So. I'm gonna wait uh, for my fiance to get home and get, have some dinner ready for her and then we will see what the night holds. Hopefully she'll uh, be willing to drop me off at the gym so I can still enjoy that. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna continue uh, working on the new book, um, just under 5,000 words. So I'll definitely finish that up today. And uh, other than that, if you're, if you're writing today, hope you're doing good. Hope your word count's coming in good. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying this vlog style. We'll check in with you here in a bit and uh, go from there. We'll see ya. I'm bringing a quick end to the video here, cooking up some, uh, some corn and steaks for my fiance and myself. She's on her way home from work and I'm still working at home. So I'm trying to treat her good and have, have dinner ready right when she gets home. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed, uh, hope, enjoyed the video, second vlog style. So we're gonna get a little bit more in depth as these, as these go on, maybe add in some screen flow so you can kind of see exactly what I'm doing. I gotta learn how to do all that still, but um, I'm gonna cut it off here so I can finish up dinner. Uh, I did end up hitting my word count of 5,000 words. So the manuscript itself is just over 10,000 now um, after today's uh, work. The audiobook files are almost completely done for all, all in the family, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're on the second one, audio style or audio wise. Um, so that is almost done. Uh, that'll be probably completed tomorrow and we can send that off to get it, uh, get it going. Also some exciting stuff. Uh, all of my books are going to be offered, as they say, wide. Uh, from here forward, I'm working on that as we speak. Generally, I've had everything go through the Kindle Unlimited program, 
But if you're a writer, if you're an author, especially if you're self-published, you know that uh, going wide is one of the things a lot of people talk about. And I've tried it with uh, my last couple books and they're, it's been more of a successful avenue than the KU exclusive program. So we're gonna go wide with those things and I'll uh, keep you updated on how that goes and maybe I'll document some of the process. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed seeing what I'm working on. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this stuff, don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, tell your friends, tell your family, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. As always, checking on your friends, checking on your family. Hope everybody's doing well. I appreciate you being here and your support. And I look forward to seeing you again real soon. We'll see you.